the simple fire charcoal gas generator. Probably the simplest setup you can use to take charcoal and make it into a usable gas for running an internal combustion engine. The simple fire. Hi, I'm Gary Gilmore and this is my simple fire charcoal gasifier set up on a generator set. And well, let me light it and then I can talk later while the wood gas is coming up to uh, up to temperature. I just turn on the uh, startup fan and then I'm going to use the torch. Oop, I have to turn on the valve to allow the gas through. Okay. Now let's see, it's a uh, quarter till. So you just put the torch in here, the charcoal is lit, and now what's going to happen is this charcoal will burn, it will produce carbon dioxide, that carbon dioxide is going to go through the uh, bed of charcoal here and get reduced to carbon monoxide because all this carbon in here is hungry for oxygen and it will actually grab the oxygen molecule off of carbon dioxide to make more carbon monoxide. And this is the gas, the primary gas, that runs the internal combustion engine. So as this is heating up, the fan over there is sucking air in here, making carbon monoxide. It has to evacuate this entire container of all the oxygen that got in there when I was uh, putting charcoal in. Uh, it also has to evacuate the air from all these lines and from the filter which is on the back here. But once it evacuates it all and the gas is rich enough to burn, uh, then we'll be able to start the engine and get, it, and get the generator running. The charcoal gas is not as powerful as the wood gas because in the process of making charcoal, you've removed most of the hydrogen from the wood. Therefore, the pr predominant fuel you're using in the engine is carbon dioxide. The advantages of charcoal is you don't have to worry about engine tars. All I have tars from the wood getting into the engine and gumming it up. I do have to worry about dust, but dust is much easier to filter than uh, tar. Okay, we do have a flame here. Bring the camera over. Kind of hard to see. It's it's such a. We'll just let it come up to heat a little bit more. What you see in there is a, a yellowish, uh, orangish flame, that's hydrogen, and that could well be some of the hydrogen in the uh, charcoal, some of the, you know, it may have a moisture content of like 6%, but that's enough to give you some hydrogen burning. If there was no moisture at all and you were just burning carbon monoxide, you'd have a very blue flame. But you take a look into the, uh, nozzle here and you can see uh, the air being drawn in. That's been about three minutes now. So let's get the generator started. Now it's going to be pretty noisy so I'm going to take off 